during the huge pro-democracy demonstrations in Hong Kong four years ago, one song became widely popular. Glory to Hong Kong was quickly taken up as the anthem of the protesters. Now, the Hong Kong government is trying to get their song banned by the courts. Even so, so much as whistling or humming it would be against the law. Court is where the fight for freedom plays out in Hong Kong these days. The latest case brought to the High Court by the government is not against an individual. It seeks to ban a song. Glory to Hong Kong was written during the 2019 protests. It contains the lyrics, liberate Hong Kong in a revolution of our times. Expressions considered subversive under the national security law. It is not safe to play or to upload or to publish this song in Hong Kong now. I think we have to admit this fact. The video for the song features performers wearing the black clothing and yellow helmets, which became the uniform of young protesters in 2019. It became so popular that on several occasions it has been mistakenly played at international sports events. An investigation was launched after it was used at this rugby tournament in South Korea, instead of the official anthem, which is China's March of the Volunteers. The government injunction would make the music, the lyrics and any adaptations illegal. Even whistling the tune could get someone into trouble. The government's been using injunctions on a handful of occasions, uh, especially during the protests in 2019. The injunctions have allowed the government to make quasi-criminal offences out of conduct which previously may have fallen into a sort of grey area. On Thursday, a man was sentenced to three months for dubbing the protest song over the Chinese national anthem in a Hong Kong medal ceremony from the Tokyo Olympics. He was convicted under a national anthem law, which was introduced together with the national security law. The new laws have led to an exodus of hundreds of thousands of people. Hundreds more will leave this summer, many of them teachers or parents who want to get their children away from classrooms where the Communist Party has imposed its ideology. Liberal studies have been replaced with lessons on the Chinese constitution and a national security curriculum is being taught to children from the age of six. Earlier this month, the Hong Kong government placed bounties on the heads of eight pro-democracy figures in exile. The chief executive, John Lee, described them as street rats who would be hunted down. I can't guarantee that after this interview with you, when I walk out of the door, I would not be arrested. Emily Lau is one of a few prominent Democrats not in exile or behind bars. Every day she's been going to court to support those on trial under the national security law. I'm not going to tell you that Hong Kong, the game is over. We're finished. No way. I will never say that. I say we have a dream. We have aspirations that one day we will again be free. After one day of evidence, the judge will make his ruling next week. The government is likely to get the song banned, adding music to the means of expression it has successfully silenced. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Hong Kong.